You can ask any mother of a teenager how easy it is to prepare them for school in the mornings. Very likely, you will be having a whole lot of complaints about the laziness of the teenager. In reality, those complaints of parents regarding the difficulty in waking up the teenagers may be a misplaced accusation. It is misplaced because each person has their own biological clock and that may not exactly fit the time schedule provided by the administration in an institution or teachers in a school or parents at home. Little bit of mythology. There was a guy with the name Procrustes and he made a beautiful bed. Invited all the passers by to come and lay on his bed. Then what he did? Some people wouldn't fit the length of the bed. They may be too short. So he will stretch them like this. Some other people may be too tall to fit in the bed. So what he will do? He will cut off the head or the legs so that they will fit the bed. Just like a procrustus, we expect or rather demand that the children or teenagers should fit the time schedule made by the authorities or those in charge. How do we do it? By cutting off the sleeping time or the waking up time. So we are sort of making problems for their biological rhythm. It is like finding fault with a fish not being able to fly or finding fault with a bird not being able to swim. The biology of the fish is made to swim. Biology of the bird is to fly. That is the way each person has their own biological system, biological rhythm to follow. Almost all living entities, including many bacteria, have their own intrinsic biological clock, which is tuned or operated by the circadian rhythm. This circadian rhythm, the word circadian means around the day, it changes with the day. And since our earth rotates around its axis in 24 hours, our biological clock has a period of 24 hours. This clock, internal clock, intrinsic clock, determines what time you should eat, what time you go to sleep, what time you get up and uh, all those biological functions are dictated by each person's internal clock. In organisms like a fruit fly or a mice or a rabbit or a human, this biological clock has a specific anatomical location inside the brain. They are a tiny part, maybe several tens of thousands of cells, situated just above the area called chiasma. Chiasma is the place where two nerves coming from the back of the eyeballs cross each other. Just above that is this nucleus called suprachiasmatic nucleus because it is above the chiasma. Each cell in our body has this biological rhythm. However, they are all organized and synchronized by this suprachiasmatic nucleus. It is like a conductor in a symphony who does this organization and the synchronization of the whole team. This clock decides not just eating, sleeping, mating behavior, also the how the protein is synthesized, how what hormone should be made and released into the system, at what time and uh, when should the DNA should be transcribed and when 
it should be made into proteins that is translation all are determined by this biological rhythm i mentioned the period of our biological clock is 24 hours that is because earth rotates in 24 hours aren't we happy that we don't live in venus which it has a rotation time of 243 earth days or on jupiter the biggest planet in our solar system which rotates in just 10 hours this biological rhythm was first discovered in modern times in early 18th century by a french astronomer who found that uh, mimosa plant which will open in the daytime and close in the night can continue the same behavior opening and closing even if kept at absolute darkness following a 24 hour cycle in reality this was discovered even much earlier 4th century before christian era one of the ship captains of alexander found that tamarindus tree does the same thing following the circadian rhythm if you are confined in a deep hole on the ground with no access to light no clock no time measuring device but your food and drinks are all provided and you will recognize that you will also start following the circadian rhythm because you sleep when it is dark or night in the outside world and you do your activities when it is day time in the outside world that means your circadian rhythm is taking over you don't need a clock for that as an ethical alternative to human experiments they use fruit flies fruit flies are lovingly called by scientists drosophila melanogaster that is the species used for many of these experiments the advantage of this fruit fly are several one is small size and within 2 weeks you can have a generation whereas for a human how much more years even for a mice it will take more than a year to have a generational experiment Another major advantage of fruit fly they have only four pairs of chromosomes unlike humans with 23 pairs of chromosomes so it is it is much less messier to work with in spite of the small size and the smaller number of chromosomes they share about 60% of our dna sequences and 75% of human inherited diseases have counterpart genes in Drosophila that is fruit fly The Nobel Prize for Medicine or Physiology in 2017 was announced on October 2nd for the work on the circadian rhythm The scientists involved not only identified they separated the gene that gene is called period and several associated genes and they elucidated the mechanism by which the cyclic rhythm or the biological rhythm works the biological clock works and considering fruit fly this is not a new thing for a fruit fly this is the sixth time medicine nobel prize is announced given to some research relating to fruit flies is it not amazing if you like this video share subscribe and tell your friends thank you